Yeah, hi. We are from SVS Embedded. The project title name is Design and Implementation of IoT Based Smart Warehouse Monitoring System. So, we are using power supply, 5 volts power supply, Raspberry Pi Pico board we are using, and we are using two load cells. We are measuring the weights of the um, boxes load cell 1, load cell 2, those are 5 kg, 5 kg. MQ2 gas sensor by smoke sensor so in the warehouse we are monitoring the gases and we are using one DHT11 temperature humidity of the warehouse 16 cross 2 LC display RS enable D4, D5, D6, D7 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and when we are monitoring the entire uh, warehouse data monitoring on the web page so one web page we are using so it is a temperature sensor humidity sensor a smoke sensor and we are monitoring the load cell of the weights so we can continuously monitoring the parameters so like temperature humidity smoke load cell one load cell two and date and time okay so we are monitoring all the data so first we are coming into the power supply board bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator one led power supply board Raspberry Pi Pico RP2040 board 16 cross 2 LCD display character LCD display whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the LCD DHT11 temperature humidity sensor and one ESP8266 Wi-Fi module MQ2 gas sensor by smoke sensor load HX711 amplifier and one 5 kg load cell okay and here HX11 amplifier and another one load cell 2 so we are taking the internet with this mobile phone so we are accessing the internet so there should be a Wi-Fi hotspot is on area. so mobile data on hotspot on so there should be a one user ID password that is called small letter project small letter project 1 2 3 4 smart garbage implementation so now I'm going for press the reset button design and implementation of smart IOT system for improve the efficiency of warehouse Wi-Fi testing connected echo finding network network found ok SIP mode ok Wi-Fi module connected now it is go for the remove the load cells first we need to remove the load cell onto the load cells connected Wi-Fi ESP8266 load cells ok load cell 1 load cell 2 and a temperature humidity and then smoke so now I am adding the boxes to the load cell ok two boxes and one box load cell 1 60 each one 30 300 grams and 300 grams okay smoke sensor so load sir okay v warehouse monitoring to monitor the uh, boxes weight on remotely so three boxes and three boxes so all every five seconds it will send the data to every five counts it will send the data to server now the time is 12 14 so it will update 12 14 data final data it will update onto the server sending data now it is sending the data to server yeah sent completed okay and it will update the data onto the server now temperature till now it is not up yeah now it is updated four minutes okay temperature value humidity value smoke value okay now i will go for the smoke alert smoke alert okay second time it will take 
smoke alert then it will send the data to server and we will get the email alert also sending data sent completed and we got the email alert also okay hi smoke alert by gas alert so here it is also updated onto the server we will go for a temperature or humidity alert humidity i with my mouth i added the humidity 20 humidity goes to 78 sending data through any dope stick you can increase the temperature we got the alert humidity alert high humidity alert 60 and above humidity alert so we can add the weights onto the load weighing bits okay the weight is increased 1 kg 1.23 grams okay okay so we can increase the temperature gas alert uh, load cell 1 load cell 1 load cell 2 and raspberry pi pico and here is the power supply board and a 16 cross 2 lc display so just they are, they are monitoring the warehouse uh, uh, packages how many packages are there to monitor onto the iot web page so like temperature sensor humidity sensor smoke sensor load cell 1 load cell 2 send to okay sending data sent to completed so here is 1.323 1.26 so it will up it will you can see in the lcd also 1.23 1.26 so this is our block diagram this is our hardware kit thanking you if there is any doubt let me know to svs embedded